welcome to the Fonny de Toy Stadium in Pochevstrom, and it is round nine, the final round of log play in Varsity Cup, and everything is on the line tonight. Pucker, the home side, they need to win with a bonus point to make it into the semi finals. And as for Tucks, they might top the log, but they're not yet guaranteed of a home final. They would also like to win with a bonus point. And now a chance for Tuckies. And away they go. Straight down the middle. Three defenders left, and they're all pointing at each other. And Andre Warner gets the softest of tries. Yes, brilliant individual try from Andre Warner. And he found himself in the fly position. And when he got the ball, he immediately took off, found a gap. And Thank then you. had three of the Tucker defenders in the back, all pointing at each other, not knowing who was going to take him. And he ended up doing it all by himself. Arnoldi finds his man on this occasion. Still come controlling matters. They need to get that ball around to the back. And the try has been scored. We'll have to wait and see who gets up with the ball. It was a good eye tackle pull, Stewie. I think it could Anyone actually be it was a good eye tackle. Skuman loaded that line out with a few of the backs as well, Andy. That's why they've scored. They've put some backs in there. <laughs> Here's Warner. Beer Winkle. Takes a lot to stop him. To Beer. They've got extra men out wide here. That's the reason for the long pass. Clyde Davids is in the corner. Try number two for Tuckies. Yeah, and could have maybe come a bit earlier for Tuckies, but they've done well to have good patience and put the ball through the phases. And eventually going over in the corner. Oh, and there we go. That made a liar of me. There's another great piece of straight running from Tux. The extra man is no there, and now he does have try number seven. Absolute classic example of keep your heads up in defence. You never know what's coming next. Yeah, it's the first thing you get taught when you start mini rugby. And there we see that pace again from Andre Warner. And that's just too easy for Tux. Arnoldi with the drive. He got very close earlier on. That uh, arm is out again from Stu Berry. It doesn't matter this time. That is Volt Sternkamp in for the try. Yeah, just the start. Took out in this home crowd, wanted in the second half. They did have the advantage as well, but they didn't need it. Took they went on to score. 11 to 6. Penalties conceded now. Arnoldi! Try for Pucker. certainly given them a boost picker the crowd's gone wild and all 15 of the team were in there to congratulate Arnoldi and he does deserve a try he's played really well this evening slide <laughs> oh pick up by Warner and he's over he has got the ball down second try for Warner and it's vital yeah, it's yeah. the bonus point try for Tux yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. Last week, A couple of options out wide here. The long ball to Mafura. Oh, what a step from Mafura. Couple of meters short. Still chances here. He's over. Try from Loftus Morrison. <laughs> Hacked through, nobody at home, and that try has sealed matters. Tux have done it, and there's the management group hug that tells you they have their home semi final. There goes the hooter. Tux will just get it off the park. They've done exactly that, and there it is. What a hugely entertaining game of Varsity Cup rugby. The defending champions are out of the competition. This team, Tux, now have a home semi final. They may well finish top of the log. That's the final score 28 43.